Good day, Great Sevens. Uh, welcome to the NS class of Natural Science class of Katu Primary School. Today we're going to talk about energy and change. So uh, you can follow me in your textbook um, as I'm starting there, and also follow me on your PowerPoint from um, page 100 to 103. Okay, so sources of energy, topic one. Uh, we are going to uh, talk about different kinds of sources of energy. Uh, firstly, we're going to start with what is energy? So energy is the ability to do work. Um, so I'm just going to change the color so that you are able to see. Um, so energy is the ability to work or to do something. If something needs to be... Um, moving forward or turning, um, we need energy to do that. We eat food to provide us with energy, energy to do certain things. Energy is measured in kilojoules. That is the unit that we measure um, energy in. Okay, so anything that needs to be pushed, pulled, turned, or anything like that uh, needs energy to do so. So a source of energy has stored energy and that we called potential energy. So a source of energy got potential energy. We say that nearly almost all of the energy um, is coming from the sun through the process of photosynthesis. And that is where we're going to come to where plants and animals have stored energy uh, for many years back and have died and these animals and plants are um, actually caught up in the earth and today we find them as fossil fields. So the dead um, animals and plants that lived many years ago are found now in the earth's core and um, in the earth's surface and we find them as fossil fields. Fossil fields got coal, oil and gas as I've underlined there for you. And because of high temperature and pressure, these uh, fossil fuels are formed and they are a non-renewable form of energy. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the, the different kinds of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels have three kinds. Uh, firstly, coal, that is a solid. And then we have um, then the gas, natural gas. Um, then we have uh, oil. Uh, this is an oil pump. Um, a drill that they um, actually use um, to get out the oil out of the earth and also I've got a picture here of a, 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 a power station to indicate to you because 84% of the world's energy is coming from fossil fuels. Okay, firstly coal um, is used to generate um, electricity and, and also produce petrol. Sassel is, the, um, is one of the companies that does that in South Africa. Oil is used to make um, um, petrol, diesel, um, uh, aircraft fuel, paraffin, lubricants, grease and so forth and also to generate electricity. So there you have a look on how many products uh, comes from oil. Then gas is also used to produce liquid gas, also to uh, make uh, petrol and to generate electricity. Um, that is the gases we use in our homes. Okay, so this is non-renewable sources of energy. It means that when we have used them, we cannot use them again. Okay, they cannot be restored naturally. So uh, uranium is also a non-renewable form of energy. Um, that is very important. And uh, uranium, that is a nuclear fuel, is used in Kuberg. Um, the only power plant we have in uh, South Africa that is near Cape Town that uses uranium as a, um, as a fuel to provide us and actually to um, supply us with uh, electricity. So we use um, um, uranium in Kuberg near Cape Town. Okay, so here I've got a few pictures for you. Examples of uh, non-renewable sources of energy. Firstly is coal. Then we have crude oil or oil. Then we have natural gas and then also uh, nuclear fuels. The, these are our examples of non-renewable forms of energy. So let's just let us have a look um, here at the fossil fuels and the advantages and disadvantages of fossil fuels. Okay, so firstly the advantages. Um, 
they are widely available um, we really can find a lot of them um, in the world um, or in in south africa uh, let me just change the color there for you and then um, they releases energy very um, easily and they are also very cheap um, in regards to other forms of energy okay then the disadvantages obviously when we burn uh, the fossil fuels it causes uh, air pollution that have an effect um, on the ozone layer of um, our world and uh, that causes a, a greenhouse effect that um, that we use uh, that they talk about global warming and then also we have a fire hazard when we burn um, these uh, fossil fuels and the mining um, of these things causes then ground pollution and also it is a non-renewable form of energy and that is uh, the disadvantages of fossil fuels let us have a look here at the advantages and disadvantages of nuclear fuels um, firstly advantages of nuclear fuels are that there is a large stockpile so there's a lot of um, nuclear fuels that are available and these nuclear fields, uh, fuels actually causes a very little pollution. So that's a very good advantage of it. And then um, a small amount of it releases a lot of energy. So I need a small amount to release a lot of energy. Disadvantages is the radioactive waves um, that it causes. Then the waste material, if they can't use the material anymore in the, in the power station, uh, it stays radioactive for thousands of years so it needs to be put in containers and to be put um, away so that people and animals are not coming close to it then the generator of electricity must take place near to water and that actually is a disadvantage because the um, if the mine the uranium mine is in Johannesburg it needs to be uh, transported the nuclear fuel uh, to Cape Town because um, they, that is where the power station is close to the water and then also um, it is a non-renewable form of energy so I hope you have learned something about uh, sources of energy especially non-renewable forms of energy so um, that is what we have uh, learned about them so just me, let me repeat non-renewable forms are fossil fuels coal, natural gas and oil and also nuclear fuels that is uranium is a non-renewable form of energy